lofty valley, they built a giant, and they gave it the name of a giant in Greek mythology, Titan. Bunker Living today we have a local crane company who have graciously volunteered their services with their 80 ton mobile crane crazy computational processing power and telematics with this particular crane now if you've been following this channel we have unfinished crane business at this particular complex all right so we are going to be heading down to a crane operating school that literally is right down our street that heads to the actual site. Uh, today we're gonna go down and talk with them and see if they can pop right behind me the lid that is at the top of equipment building in launcher number three. Uh, we dug it out a while back. <laughs> Time to see if we can actually get them to uh, negotiate something and uh, be able to come down here and pop this lid. Uh, it means everything because if we get that open, we actually can basically start getting all the metal out, everything that we need to scrap out of that room to turn it into what we're going to be turning it into. So, I'm going to head down there and see what they have to say. Fingers crossed that this works out well so then we can be able to actually start getting a move on this. So, we'll see. Also, about the audio, it's damn windy out here. Of all days, out of nowhere, we have damaging high winds with sustained speeds greater than 58 miles per hour. Talk about the impact that we saw on travel today here. So, wild day. At last check, 150 flights canceled and roughly 500 delays as a result of these high winds. Uh, more than 600 outages reported are roughly 55,000 customers impacted. Hard to find a microphone that actually works. A little too windy for my liking. From the silo down here? Oh, how you doing, man? What's up? Good, how are you, man? I figured Good. I wasn't talk to you on, on what they got. Yeah, well, I much appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. This is Pat. He's the ground speaker leader. The new one, so he's going to be the guy that was telling our people that he owns that road and he yeah. can't be on it. Yeah. They fired that guy and this yeah. was Yeah, he's going to. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's yeah, yeah. yeah. So that mother that we were sitting down in front of that game. If you want to tangle with us, yeah. go ahead. So what do you need? So you need, what do you need? Something picked? I need a, yeah, a core. Cause we already got three pickup points on it, but um, our, our equipment wouldn't right. pick it up. Okay. But we need it popped, we need it pulled. Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Let me show my man something. Yeah. Let me show him this, and I'm gonna have him run down here and take a look at it. When do you want to do it? When you guys could help us, I guess. Okay. You know, we're not gonna push you over. We right. appreciate it, you know. If we can kind of schedule something, get you blocked in there, yeah, then sure. uh, we can make it happen. It's been buried the whole time? Yeah, it's been buried the whole so, time, dude. So what I would plan on is have a guy come in with the lift. You guys coming down here to do the rigging, yeah. right? I'll talk you through whatever if you got questions. Okay. We'll get tension on everything, and then we'll just have everybody out of that hole. Absolutely. Yeah. You see what yeah. I mean? Anybody who's up here kind of watching what's going on, only guy down there is the guy in the lift. Okay. And then, you know, kind of pulling it off and it's it's just going to come right up and then yep. we're just going to back out the hill and travel yep. up here, set it down. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. This is just slightly sketch. We'll see how that lift comes up. So, like, right in here is where you, you tape measure. Yeah, yeah. In the hole, yeah. One, two, three. But did you have an engineer plan this or? Supposedly, yeah. Okay. I don't see an issue with it. All my questions are answered. The only thing, maybe just, you know, a little hand shoveling. I'm a worst case scenario guy. Here's what I see in my head. Like some of this 
comes off because the lid's moving out of the mm -hmm. way. Yeah, yeah. That lets this come down. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was supporting that. Now the whole. And then it just goes. Now all of a sudden the whole thing caves in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And it's always one, two, three, four, five. For sure. Big. Yep. Right. Yeah. yeah. Totally. You're right. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, other than that, just a little hand shoveling. It's no big deal. You know, it all looks pretty good. No issue. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if your forklift will do this or not. I don't know. It, capacity wise, I think it'll do it. Yeah. Backing it up that hill, I don't love. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not worried. Uh, the weight is going to be low, and if it starts doing this, it's yeah, 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 gonna yeah, stop because the weights, you know, absolutely yeah, keep yeah. the weight low. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. More ideal. I just have a crane sitting right up there, mm -hmm. and this just comes up and yeah. goes right there. Yeah, that's so kind of what I've seen. I'm yeah. gonna discuss it with him and see if he's got any issue with us taking a crane down here. Cool. Okay. Making that happen. Hey, Documento, guys. We're gonna use crane. If you don't hear from us by Thursday morning, 9 a.m., come up here. Okay. Okay. We tend to get busy and then get sidetracked. Uh, I understand. Uh, yeah. We can do that hopefully tomorrow. We can make them down and help you out. All right. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Much appreciated. So if you don't hear absolutely. from us, come get us. Cool. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thank you very much. We well, appreciate you. Welcome, you. Absolutely. Okay. You okay. Okay. Hey, I'll be back. I'll ask you a question about that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you've experimented like I have, how to uncork a stubborn old bottle of wine from the old country. You know the drill, using a blowtorch or a lighter, applying heat to the neck of the wine bottle right below the cork, the heat should force the cork to move upward and eventually out of the bottle. Congrats, you can start drinking. However, a Titan I bunker complex exhibits non-mercy. The uncorking of the lead to her secret passages is a hard fought battle. The tighter one will be tamed once you've earned its respect. Look at all that shit. Right, 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 right on it. Where that seal is, it's nothing underneath it. What's it like a jackhammer? Yeah. 
that's what we're gonna, if this don't work, that's what we're gonna have to do. Blast it apart. Yeah, dude. Taming is the condition for behavioral modification of a wild born animal when its natural avoidance of humans is reduced and it accepts the presence of humans. Well, it's the same principle here at this particular bunker complex. Bitch. Thor's hammer, dude. So here is the other latest right now. Right now, um, our, our max is 21,000. So we just changed the other cables. So uh, if that threshold doesn't hold, the alarm's gonna go off about 21,000 and we're gonna basically stop the operations kind of thing. So this will be our only opportunity right now. So we'll be listening for that alarm. That's all. But I've known people to be killed. So I've yeah. known anyone Do I think this machine would handle weight alone? Yeah. I think it has to be absolutely in perfect conditions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just weather wise and the seal would need to be it needs to be. Yeah. Okay. Come yeah, coming here. We're gonna we're gonna give up on this one. Um <laughs> coming coming down for loose. Coming down ten feet. I mean you wanted to give another, another go. Well, with the calmer weather, no winds, and we've had hundred percent unsealed on the sides. Yeah, get that hundred percent so all right there it is the titan one wins again now there's two roads of thought that we can have spawning from this experience that we just had this past week at our Titan 1 complex. The first one is a road that we can head down that is negative. We could be really upset and let the frustration of the moment overcome us. Or we utilize this whole situation for more motivation to overcome this obstacle. This is the second time that we've had cranes on our property. We have not hit it at all. We tried the first time with the first crane at the elevator shaft doors. That crane failed because of the rigging. It was too small. The engineering was wrong behind it. Now, we were lucky enough to be able to have a school come out and try to just help us. They looked at the rigging and everything like that and said, you know what, let's give it a shot. Because they were optimistic about what could happen. All you can do is try. They came down here, they got right to work, and you know what? It didn't happen. They went back and did their mathematics and we found out that our calculations that were given to us beforehand were wrong. We are here to show you the good, bad, and the ugly. And even though this past week was a little bit of a disappointment, it gives us more motivation to move forward because that's what's most important in life in general. This is yet another example of how life can throw you a curveball and you have to overcome it.
We love that we're growing a community that actually cares. We had people come down here out of the kindness of their own heart and try to give us a shot, try to help us out. And even though it came up short, and even though we weren't able to get it open, we still learned valuable lessons. So my conclusion comes down to the point of it being another week in the history of this time. We want to change this place that was made to kill millions of people. We want to change it into something positive for our community. We are going to finish this project. We are going to keep moving forward. There is no other option. Perseverance is key with everything that we do. So if you guys want, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think what it would be the right way to get this cap actually open. Please, by all means, we're about the community. We respond to every single comment, and we pride ourselves on that because we do love the conversation that comes from you all. So at the end of the day, that's the end of the work week, and we're gonna get right back on it on Monday. Thank you for always watching Make You Look Like You're Living. We appreciate all the love. Thank you.